everybody. This is Oliver, and today I'd like to quickly show you a little WordPress plugin that I've created. Yeah, let me just show you what it does. So right here we have a multiple choice quiz in H5P, and I can click on some answers, and then click on check, and I will get my results. And as you may know, H5P itself does not store the results, but um, leaves the job to the host system. And if you're using Moodle, for example, then you're fine, because Moodle is a great book, and the results go there. But this is WordPress, and WordPress does not have such a thing, because it's a blog software. Um, so luckily, H5P supports um, the so-called Experience API or X API, and I won't go into detail, but let's just say it can be used to send the results somewhere else. And typically, this somewhere else is the learning record store, which <laughs> yeah, stores your data and uh, gives you many options for analyzing it. And I didn't want to recreate that because, well, why should I recreate something that's already in existence? Um, but I may have a little workaround for you if you're using WordPress and you don't want to use a learning record store. So uh, let's have a look at the back end of WordPress and see what my plugin does. So right here we have a new menu point, which is labeled H5P XA Pikachu, because it catches all those tiny XAPI statements which are emitted by H5P. And if we click on it, um, we'll see this mm, quite cryptic table, um, but it contains everything that we need. So for example, over here we have the actor, which is the person or the group um, that tried to answer the task. And in this case, I was logged in, so I will see my email address. Um, we can see what I did, so I interacted twice, that's when I clicked on the options and I answered, that's when I clicked on check. And you can see lots of other stuff, for example, um, the question itself, the choices that I had, the answers that I gave, um, the points that I got. Um, and this is not very useful, I, I guess, if you look at it, but uh, you can download the data over here. Um, and you will get a CSV file, which you can use in Excel or maybe Python or uh, yeah, whatever you like. And you can do your own computation. So um, you could yeah, uh, compute averages or whatever you, you want to. So, uh, well, that's basically it. You have some settings that I could show you. Um, look over here and you can, can decide to capture everything or maybe just uh, a few of the content types. Um, you can have a look at the debug output if you like to, which is um, the, the raw X API data um, that you might want to look at. Or you can even decide to store this in a long string uh, if you want it. But um, I guess most of you don't need that. So just install this plugin and then it will would look like, like this as a default uh, setting. And you're good to go and store the X API um, results that HPFE delivers. So um, yeah, just uh, check out my, my plugin, give it a try and tell me what you think. Do you need a new feature? Um, well, I might have time to implement it if you uh, tell me what you need. Um, yeah, but that's it for today. Take care. Bye bye.